Hey Aquarius, welcome to your general love reading for mid-March to the end of March 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Aquarius. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everybody's situation. But you can check out one of your other signs if you'd like, or you can book a personal reading with me. And you can find all that information in the description box. The roles in this reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, so Aquarius, let's see what is going on with you in love for the second half of March. All right, for the situation, we have the sun crossed by the seven of cups. All right, okay, it feels like either you or the other person, I actually feel like this might be you, um, even though this is Leo energy. So some of you might be dealing with a Leo. Um, but it feels like you might be confused as to whether you're happy or not. Um, like, on the one hand, you feel like you're happy, but then maybe you feel like you're not happy, and I don't know, it just looks a little bit confusing for you. Let's, it could be the other person as well. Um, or it could even be, um, not really sure how to go about happiness. Like, feeling it's like right around the corner, like you're so close to it, but not really knowing how to go about it exactly. Okay, so for your energy, the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Tower. What is going on here, Aquarius? Yeah, it definitely feels like there's some fluctuation on, on your side. Um, maybe a little bit of instability when it comes to which way you want to go. Again, to move towards happiness or possibly... Um, to move towards either a new path or to if something is going to be reignited from the past like um, or a connection here that you're dealing with and I feel like you know this instability is driving you crazy let's see for them we have the nine of wands the eight of swords and the nine of pentacles All right, well, it seems like this person is trying to break free from something and it's proving to be quite difficult for them. I see them feeling like, um, they feel like their hands are tied. In a particular situation and they want to break free from it, but again, it's, it's, it feels like it's been a long, difficult road. I, I'm i not sure if this is in relation to you. It doesn't feel like it. It could even be, though, that this person is feeling like there's no solution to the connection with you. But again, it, again, it feels like it's because they're trying to break free from something else or from something um, from within their own self. We'll see more when we clarify. For the potential outcome here, we have the King of Cups. Okay, so this is moving towards that emotional stability, all right? This is uh, this can also represent love. This could even be somebody else coming in for you. Let's let's see. It could be this person though for some of you, but it's definitely a very positive outcome to this reading. And it definitely does embody you feeling more emotionally secure, more emotionally balanced, stable, fulfilled, all of that. All right, so let's see the sun with the seven of cups. The hermit, the king of pentacles, and the queen of pentacles. Hmm. It definitely feels like, you know, this is, you You want a particular commitment here or just a commitment that is going to be um, in alignment with you. You want it to be tangible. You want it to be in the 3D where you can actually experience it. And I feel like you've, it feels like you've spent some time alone because um, I just really feel like this is you. Um... Or if you haven't been alone, it, 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 it almost comes in as you feeling, though, as if you've been alone. But through this alone time, it's like you have learned a lot about yourself and I feel like you have actually healed a lot. And so 
that's why you it's like you can almost taste this sense of happiness but it it's like it feels like something's missing almost I'm also getting that you may have felt um, some kind of a distancing with this person here. Not on an energetic level, mostly in the 3D, mostly like on a, um, in the physical. This is also Virgo, Virgo energy, strong Virgo energy showing up. All right, let's see that Knight of Wands in your energy. We have the Six of Cups and the Three of Wands. Okay, yeah, it's like, this fluctuation is because there's this back and forth. You, oh, okay, you're not sure if you're gonna find happiness by moving away from this connection or by maybe even waiting for, for this connection or waiting for a particular connection. Um, because it definitely feels like there's something here from the past that, or a connection from the past, maybe it's this person down here, but maybe it could even be somebody else for some of you, someone else from your past, where there's this back and forth in your energy in terms of this person, like thinking about it and, you know, is this something that can actually come back or should I, you know, just move on and move in a completely new direction? and move forward with my life away from this. So there's a little bit of back and forth um, with that on your end. Let me see the Ace of Wands. The Hanged Man and the Page of Wands. <laughs> I feel like it's the same message coming through um, again, basically. Um, there's a situation here that has you kind of hanging. I feel like you, there's this part of you again that wants to move forward because you just want to be happy already. Um, but then there's this possibility that there's this big like, what if? What if this person comes back? Or what if this can actually work? Or um, So I feel like that kind of keeps you in this state of basically that tower feeling like nothing is really happening nothing is really working for you you can taste that happiness it feels like you know it's possible but you're really confused as to how to go about it let me see the tower <laughs> clarified by the tower okay big time tower here and the eight of swords Aquarius All right, so this is really hard, actually. This is really hard for you. And I can totally understand why, because I feel like, you know, whatever this connection is, it's something that was very, very um, significant for you. I, I even get that with whoever this person is from the past, that they, you, you've had past lives with this person as well. And because of that, this connection is very deep. It's very strong regardless of, you know, how long you knew this person in this lifetime or, you know, what your interaction was, it doesn't matter. And I feel like this, I, I feel like we've gotten similar energy for all air signs, actually. Um, this Eight of Swords, right? This is you just running these thoughts over and over and over again in, in your mind, and that's creating a huge tower, which is, you know, this... It's a very unpleasant feeling, feeling like you don't know what's coming. You feel like, you know, something's going to be destroyed. Like maybe you can never actually have this happiness. Because you don't know which way to go. It, it feels like um, this energy of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Like if you move forward, well then you know, what about this connection and what if it comes back and then what if you're, you've are you already moved on then you've missed that opportunity, for example. If you don't move forward and you're waiting for this, well then what if it never happens and then you're doomed again? So this is driving you absolutely crazy. I'm sure we will, we will get the guidance for this. 
let's let me just see what is going on here with this other person they have the eight of swords too um let's see the nine of wands the king of swords and the king of cups Ooh, okay this person is having a hard time really moving forward with finding their independence from something from whatever it is that they're trying to break free from or wanting to break free from because it's their mind versus their heart. Do I listen to logic or do I listen to love? And I feel like actually they've had a very windy, turvy road as well with this. It's like on some days they listen to their mind, on other days they listen to their heart, their logic tells them one thing, um, and their emotions tell them something different. And it, this has been very exhausting and painful for this person. Let's see the Eight of Swords. So actually you're kind of in similar energies here. All right, for the Eight of Swords, we have the Page of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, see, they're confused as well. They're coming up with a whole bunch of scenarios too if they listen to their heart, if they listen to their emotions. Um, they're coming up with a whole bunch of scenarios. There's a lot of confusion around their emotions. I feel like this person can't really make sense out of what it is that they feel because it just doesn't feel logical to them. It feels very irrational to listen to their emotions or to even be having these emotions. And so what they're doing is they're trying to make sense out of emotions. And you know, sometimes you just can't do that. Emotions are emotions. There doesn't need to be a rationale behind it. There is no um, justifying emotions. They don't follow the rules of logic. So I feel like that's what this person is um, learning, basically. This is what they're figuring out. Um, it does feel like it's been taking a while though, that's for sure. Let me see the Nine of Pentacles. The Five of Swords and the Star. All right. So Aquarius showing up in their reading, uh, in their energy here. It's interesting because they want to be independent um, of something here. And I feel like what they're trying to be independent of is their own self-sabotage, their own mind games. The tricks that their own mind is playing on them. Um, because their mind is, what, what their thoughts and mind is telling them is deceitful to their emotions. So for a lot of them, that's what they are in the process of moving away from, right? Of breaking free from their own their own negative thoughts here, their own confusing thoughts, this whole thing about trying to make sense out of emotions that's not possible. And they do have a lot of hope. I mean, look at this, the star. There is healing that is happening through this. Okay, so this is very, very positive. But again, as I said, I do feel like it's a process. It's definitely a process with that nine of wands starting off this um, person's energy here. But the healing is happening. I feel like it's probably not very visible to you because of because this is like more of internal work. It's it's really just them figuring this out and learning this. All right, so let's see that King of Cups because <laughs> I love that they they have this King of Swords and King of Cups in their energy because now this King of Cups it's like it's telling me well who's gonna win, right? Um, the thoughts, the logic or the heart, and it's like the potential outcome is the heart. So let's see, King of Cups. Yeah, the High Priestess, the Six of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. All right. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be surprised if some of you are dealing with another um, air sign here. Okay. This is, I feel like this is actually for the both of you. Both of you are moving in a direction of authenticity, of truth. 
um, moving away from conflict and moving towards a more peaceful state of being, following your intuition, following your heart, and you know, really feeling more emotionally stable. I feel like the message for you, I mean, for them, it's it's pretty clear, right? They're they're in this. Um, they're moving towards this energy of really aligning with their with their emotions, with their higher self, with their with their truth, right? Rather than just the logic of the mind, which is you know not in alignment with their soul. Um, for you, if you if you decide to move forward, right, and not hang around waiting for this. It will not block this from coming in. It doesn't matter where you are. If anything, it can serve to heal you and to get you out of that tower. Okay? That's the message here for you. It's okay to move forward and allow this to just play out. Kind of like keeping it in the back seat. You know, having, you can have a little window open for this, but not just sitting at the window looking out waiting for this to come in, right? Like that that three of wands. Because that's, that's what's keeping you in this um, fluctuating back and forth and kind of frustrating kind of energy. And I know a lot of this is easier said than done, but be patient with yourself. All right, Aquarius. Let's see if this resonated with you. Let's get the final message. All right, and we have possibility. I love how this is happening. Like it, like every message in the zodiacs this time around, the final message has been like so spot on. Um, possibility. Okay, and it does say raise your standards, elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. Yes, definitely take that, okay, if it resonates with you. But the way that I'm seeing this possibility is that, yes, you know, be open to any possibility. Know that everything is possible. Then it doesn't matter. You're not going to miss out on anything if you move forward. What's meant to be in your life, I feel like, you know, it will be. And you know what? Some things are just not under your control. So hanging around isn't going to really change anything. It's not going to help you in any way. So yeah, Aquarius, those are your messages. Um, thank you so much for watching. Much love.